ரெண்டேஷன் ஆன் சிங்கிள் ஃபேஸ் சோலை கண்ட்ரோல் கன்வெர்ட்டர் வித் ஆர்எல் லோட் அண்ட் டிசி மோட்டார் வித் ஃபுல் பிச் கன்வெர்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த பேசிக் சர்க்யூட் ஆஃப் சிங்கிள் ஃபேஸ் ஃபுல்லி கண்ட்ரோல் பிச் கன்வெர்ட்டர் விச் இஸ் ஃபோர் தயரிஸ்டர்ஸ் டி ஒன் டி டூ டி த்ரீ அண்ட் டி ஃபோர் இந்த லோட் இஸ் கனெக்டட் அஸ் ஆர்எல்டி விச் ஹஸ் இ இ ரெப்ரஸன்ட் அஸ் இண்டியூஸ்ட் ஈம் ஆஃப் வோல்டேஜ் ஃப்ரம் த ரிசி மோட்டார் திஸ் இஸ் த ஏசி வோல்டேஜ் சோர்ஸ் There are two modes of operation, continuous conduction and discontinuous conduction. At continuous conduction, uh, this is the waveform of AC input voltage which has only degree of positive of cycle and another only degree of negative of cycle. Uh, this box represents the conduction of the resistors at different firing angles. Uh, this is the output voltage. Uh, which starts conduct at some firing angle that is whenever the supply voltage exceeds the induced beam of voltage at the time some gate pulse is given at angle that angle is called firing angle so at that firing angle it start conducts after the supply voltage exceeds the induced beam of voltage and it drops to zero at alpha at omega equal to 5 due to some inductor effect it causes some negative cycle like that so after that uh, firing angle given at omega t equal to 5 plus alpha that is extension angle then it continues like that and uh, as we have seen uh, this is the uh, sorry this is the input uh, this is the input output current which have been made uh, the output current doesn't reaches the zero because due to the inductor effect after switch of the thyristors uh, the current from the inductor will form the closed loop causes the current not to zero uh um uh, this wave form represents the discontinuous conduction another mode of operations uh for that uh consider when pair when pair t1 and t2 is triggered at omega t equal to alpha load current begins to build up from the zero at some angle beta that is extinction angle load current decays to zero here beta is greater than 5 so when t1 and t2 are reverse biased after omega t equal to 5 this pair is commutated at omega t equal to beta when i y equal to 0 from alpha to beta output voltage follows source voltage that is from the alpha firing angle starts to beta extension angle output voltage is it vs equal to source voltage from beta to 5 plus alpha that is from beta to 5 plus alpha no scr conducts the load voltage therefore jumps from vm sin beta to e at omega t equal to 5 plus alpha that is at this point as pair t3 t4 is triggered as mentioned t3 and t4 is triggered the load current starts to build up again as before and load voltage follows source voltage waveform at 5 plus beta at 5 plus b id uh, 5 plus alpha at 5 plus beta which is not mentioned in the graph at 5 plus beta i o falls to zero v o i o that is output current falls to zero uh, consider 5 uh, plus alpha which is same as 5 plus beta i o falls to zero v o changes from v n sin beta to v n sin 5 plus beta to e as no scr conducts the source current shown in the figure this is a single phase full wave converter connected with the motor as we have seen in the rle circuit same as uh, 
E is replaced by the motor which have armature winding. This is the waveform. Uh, I just want to skip it uh, to explain about the conduction mode equations. Um, this is the conduction mode as we have seen. Um, at alpha at time period omega t alpha to beta uh, in so input voltage is of supply voltage is equal to i is equal to r a plus c e plus l into d b t uh, that is at load side uh, this is the voltage of resistor and uh, load that is induced stream of voltage and inductor LED ABDT at omega t beta to alpha y plus alpha average voltage is equal to 1 by 5 alpha to beta vm sin over t and corresponding beta to 5 plus alpha uh, so by, by applying integrate for sin over t we have find the v average after finding the v average we just substitute the armature voltage to it because uh, v average is the voltage that exits the armature voltage is the v average so v average is equal to armature voltage so we uh, armature voltage is equal to i a or a plus e that is voltage acquired in e plus that uh, voltage so like that uh, the equation forms from the equation we have to find the speed of the motor and torque this is continuous mode of operation we have seen v average is equal to 1 by 5 alpha to 5 plus alpha uh, why we have taken alpha to 5 plus alpha is the conduction occurs from alpha to 5 plus alpha uh, that is extension angle beta okay uh, so by integrating with respect to this interval we have get omega m that is speed and then torque This is the speed torque characteristics of single phase full bridge converter with motor at alpha equal to zero. Uh, at alpha equal to zero, uh, torque prices like that. Uh, yes, uh, this is the example problem. Uh, consider at 220 volt, 1500 rpm and 10 amp separately exited DC motor as an armature resistance of 1 ohm. Uh, armature resistance is the resistance of the load that is motor it is fed from a single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier with an ac source voltage ac source voltage 230 volt that is input ac source voltage with 50 hertz of frequency assuming continuous load current uh, assuming the load has been continuous current compute motor speed at the firing angle 30 degree and torque of 5 newton meter. Uh, this was the given data. As you have seen, uh, output sorry, torque voltage is equal to sorry, V of T is equal to that is output voltage is equal to E of A uh, voltage at armature. So we are substituting, uh, we have find Km motor constant because we have known 220 voltage given input and 10 separately exited DC motor current that is IA due to be 